What's going on everyone? Today we're going to go over DeWalt's newest trimmer here. This is their 14 inch foldable brushless trimmer. And uh, this is available in stores right now. So you can go to him, most of your Home Depots. Uh, I know mine didn't have them on sale right now, but they do have them there on the shelf. Uh, they just didn't have a price or in reach. But uh, you can get this for $199 with the kit. If you wanted the bare tool of this, then you're looking at $129 for the bare tool. So uh, let's get into some specifications, some features of this thing, give y'all an overview, and see what y'all think. Now, instead of like most trimmers, DeWalt has stuck with keeping their gears and their engine, their motor down here at the bottom. So uh, the one thing I'm kind of curious about is water. Now, I haven't heard of very many people having issues with this, so apparently they've got that figured out. So uh, once again, just a concern for the future, could be, not sure. Uh, but this is their folding string trimmer. So this actually is 40% less space than a trimmer when it's completely so, uh, you know, out. So you could, you know, easy storage, easy carrying around with you to put in your car or your trunk of your vehicle if you wanted to take it somewhere. Um, but staying down here at the head of this, <coughs> we're going to get a, uh, let's start with the head. So. This comes with DeWalt's 0 .080 uh, line diameter, and I'm kind of curious to run this out and see if a point, uh, .095 will fit in here. It looks like a .095 will fit, but once again, we will see if that's something that, that you can do. Now, <clears throat> when it comes to loading this, uh, it's very simple to load. You load it just like you would pretty much a speed feed head, and then you just literally twist it. So it's nice to have that option as well because everybody loves the speed feeds. So then you just twist it to put your line in and boom, you've got your places where your hose line up to your dots and then slide your line in there, twist it up and you're good to go. Now, one thing I want to talk about on this that I'm not sure about yet is this only comes with a 14 inch swath. Now with that 14 inch swath, Unlike other uh, competitors, I guess you could say, <clears throat> this is the only, I'm going to mention this, we're going to put this against, you know, other competitors in the future, but uh, I really wish they would have made this to where this was a 14 inch swath and then you could loosen these screws up, you could turn it around and at least get a 16 or even a 15 inch swath out of this to add an extra inch, even a 15 inch and then, you know, switching it around to a 16 would have been nice. I understand that, you know, maybe the motor, it's uh, for the capabilities of it to make it a better, you know, perf more durable performance <coughs> trimmer. But just saying, I would have really liked to see a bigger swath. <clears throat> so uh, let's unfold this thing, go over some, some other things on this and show you more about it. All right, so we went over the power head, we went over the swath, we went over the versatility of this. I mean, this thing is, is very nice, carrying it around. Very, very nice. So uh, <clears throat> the thing that they did here is, this is kind of like, a, if you can tell, this kind of like, whenever you push it down, it holds it into place there. So I mean, you really gotta, I mean, you can tell I'm putting some effort into it and it's not coming out, which is nice. I mean, I really like that it, it has a place to hold. So uh, we're gonna unfold this, show you how this works. So you literally can pull this guard down a little bit and pull this up if you wanted to. So then we're gonna put it up and now there's a piece here and you're literally gonna stick this up and then once you get that up. <clears throat> All right. So now you're just gonna take this and you will put it like that, lock it in and then we're gonna push this down and now you are locked and loaded, ready for whatever to tackle. So, uh, I mean, once again, 7.9 pounds, really feels heavier holding it like this. You don't have a battery. It does come with a five amp hour battery. Let me get this battery here. 
So it does come with a five amp hour battery. And uh, <clears throat> so just to show y'all, this is a five amp. The five amp fits perfect. Let me grab a bigger battery. So let's say you wanted to put a flex bolt battery in this. <clears throat> let's say you wanted to put a six or even a nine. <clears throat> so we'll, we'll see if these will fit. So you've got plenty of room for that. So this will fit your six just fine, and this will fit your nine amp just fine. So I, uh, it honestly looks like you have plenty enough room that if you wanted to put a 12 amp in this, you could also put a 12 amp power battery in this for your maximum run time if you wanted to. But the kit comes with a five amp power, so you know you put your five amp power battery in there, and you're good. Yeah, sorry, good to go. Now your safety is here on this. Uh, there's only one safety on this. It's only on one side. It's not on both sides. So, uh, you know, you... Yeah! Get you some. Uh, anyway, so pull the battery out here. That was fun. <coughs> Alright, so your, your uh, variable speed trigger you have as well. Then... Alright, so variable speed trigger, you've got a low and a high speed. So your low and high is going to be, uh, you know, hey, how much run time do you want? you got some thick brush to cut. If you do, you probably want it on high. If you're just cutting your lawn weekly, then you know what? Throw this baby on low, get you some uh, extra battery performance out of this or some extra battery life, I guess, out of this. Because low, you're going to get 4,600 4, RPMs. On high, you're going to get 6,000 RPMs. So uh, once again, variable speed trigger handle is real nice. It's not a, uh, it's kind of like a very hard rubbery feel, I guess you could say. Um, it's not a, it don't feel like a hard plastic. It feels like a rubber, a hard rubber. So it's probably a rubber molding around this. But uh, anyway, this, I don't know. I'm right-handed. So if I'm holding this right-handed, uh, then it's easy because I, I, I just throw my thumb against it, push it, and then pull the trigger in, and I'm on my way. Now, left-handed, I'm not sure how that would work left-handed. Uh, I guess left-handed. See, left-handed's kind of weird. You'd have to use this finger, which you can do that. So, I mean, it's it's not hard, and I'm not, I don't do anything left-handed. So, I mean, even, even not being, you know, it's pretty easy. So uh, even if you're not left-handed, if you had to use it left-handed, it's still easy to get that safety lock to where you can pull that trigger. But it's very easy right-handed as well. Now, <clears throat> I'm not sure what this design feature is. Couldn't tell you how it's thicker here and not so thick here. But uh, this is, <clears throat> seems very, very durable, I have to say, because this is a bump speed or a bump feed head. So, uh, you know, I mean, once you're trimming, it's nice because you've got this. This is a rubber cushiony feeling as well. So even if you're, you're trimming and you've got your arm against that for that extra support, then it, I mean, it still feels good. It feels, it just feels right. Uh, but it feels very heavy on the front. And it's honestly because all your motor is down here. So, uh, you know, hey, it is what it is. I'm not sure how I'll actually like this thing. I can't wait to give y'all an actual uh, honest review on it and use this thing some and see what we think once the weather, you know, permits enough to, to get it out there and actually use it. That's gonna do it for this one, guys. Let me know your comments down below. What do you think of this thing? Uh, I'm, not, I'm not really sure what to think of it, to be honest with you, because it's, it's one of those things that it's it gets hard because you don't know whether but uh, it just feels so light like that <clears throat> it's hard to uh, to get into one of these being in the lawn care industry because our expectations are way different than that of a homeowner uh, if I was to rate this and put this in a homeowner thing this is great and the reason battery powered I think regardless is great is because if my wife wanted to go trim the yard to get a little bit of exercise, she gotta come out here and yank on my trimmers that she don't know how to start anyway. She can just throw a battery in this and you know go. So uh, easy to load the line, 
once again, it's easy, simple for anybody. So uh, overview of this, guys, once again, if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. Be watching because uh, if you haven't, you know, we've got the video of the blower and the pole hedge trimmer that is released. I will stick them probably here and here somewhere so y'all can click on them if you're interested. Don't forget to like, comment. Y'all hit that subscribe button. Danny out.